Hey there, big shout out to Shay's channel, Meta Gordy, Mig, Sean Warren, Ian Shelvington, Corruptor, Michael Cassell, Blaine Bortuga for supporting the channel with a join button down below. Also, if you have Amazon Prime, there's a free Twitch Prime you could drop on the old Twitch channel if you fancy it. But any support with a follow, subscribe, or a ring and a bell notification really just helps support the content, and I really appreciate it. Enjoy the show, guys. Hey there, welcome back to Noita. I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back. Matt, I'm going the way then. To the mountains, to my friends, and um, you might notice we've got a little something something here. We're in nightmare mode, and I wanted a nightmare mode where I've got glass cannon. Do you know how fucking difficult it is to actually get a glass cannon at the start? I've been sat here restarting for like days. But in nightmare mode now, you get three ones straight away, and you get edit ones everywhere guaranteed, and three random items. So yeah, I'm gonna do a glass. Ooh, that's very nice. So we get a wand experiment, firing new, found, and unmodified ones heal yet. And we also got feared by worms, which is quite nice if we do manage to get later on. But editing everywhere and iron stomach as well, so we can drink whatever the hell we want. We didn't get an amazing set of ones there, to be honest. We can't, with glass cannon using explosives will end my entire career. However, we've got these blue triggered balls, so in the first area we can go get a lot of money. And since we've got glass cannon, we can hopefully... Now, how... <laughs> yeah, glass... It... I mean, here in Nightmare Mode anyway, you might as well use glass cannon, because HP doesn't mean a great deal. Um... Yeah, it means something. Again, that's just explosives. Um, probably want to put a few of these away just so it doesn't eat through. The old mana. You know, I might just have one out, you know? All the, no, I'm going to leave two on just so I can, you know, rebound it. But using these explosives, even the regular explosive box, not the large one. But I hope you're all doing well. I've taken a few days off streaming. Taken a few days, well, a day off. You know, YouTube. Hey, to relax, because, well, I feel like there's uh, a few parts of my body that need a bit of time for recovery. Not sure what the fuck's going on, but, you know. The hair and the back of your neck stands up. Well, isn't that awesome? We get a lot of money because we are, as with Nightmare Mode, you get the opportunity to mix up the biomes a bit more. It's seed-based. Oh, we killed him with the old pushback, though, of the wand itself. But yeah, single shots can take you out anyway. He's got the wand, but he hasn't anymore. Yeah, single shots can take you out anyway, so you might as well... With enemies reloading faster, you might as well get the five times damage. Pollen? Alright. Might as well get the five times damage, you know? And get 10 HP per floor. Luckily, enemy explosives don't matter. But in nightmare mode, obviously enemies do a lot more damage, and uh, yeah, you need to respect that. But having edit ones everywhere straight away, it was a great change, you know, because nightmare mode is hard enough. And edit? I mean, it helps, but you still have to be damn good at the game. But with glass cannon straight away, you can dig for money early, which is not essential. You can do low money. Oh, I'm glad he didn't shoot me with that. Well, I'm going to leave it on the ground. Hopefully, no one will come for it. If they do, I'm done. All this money. So I can re-roll the early perks. If I can get a perk lottery or anything like that. Yeah. Enemies fire ridiculously fast. The real problem with Nightmare Mode, with them firing a lot faster, a lot of your muscle memory needs to be adapted. You don't need to change up completely, but definitely adapted. We've done a few Nightmare Runs on the channel before. And with glass cannon, especially with these orbs, the orbs have a massive radius to boost. Like, do damage, but it's not a direct hit. So it'll boost the enemy in your general direction sometimes, and it's a little bit ridiculous. We've seen that already with them being moved around violently. I wonder... This isn't bad for money, to be honest. But if I shoot into the Toxic and mix it up a bit faster... This is a double-shot wand? Oh, we take that. 
It's a shuffle one, but I don't want a, a second recharge time. Would it be in a shuffle and a six capacity? Yeah, I don't know. Probably want. Yeah, we get rid of that one. Although the green bouncing burst could be cool. I don't think it'll be amazing. But I've been while I, while I've been in recovery mode, because I feel like certain things are catching up with me. I'm gonna have never lived the most the most healthy lifestyle <laughs> in the world. But still, you know. It's always important to take a little bit of time to recover. And get back into some good content creation. But I've been watching a lot of RP, uh, GTA RP. Well, it's GTA 5. Um, I, okay, I might have to escape here. You see what I mean? Now you get a one. And they seem to want to pick up ones more. Luckily, I don't need to care about collecting any orbs. Any HP because it won't help. Only this HP helps, which I'm always going to get. Shotguns, chainsaws. You see, teleport even. Oh my. Oh my god. We get another glass cannon before we take the first HP increase. This is insane. If I can get home in shotguns or something. So, glass cannon, any time you pick it up, reduces your HP down to 50. You can only really realistically stack glass cannon, cannon twice. I think it's a 25. I think it's 5 times 5. I don't think it's plus. So I think I'll get 5 times damage and then 5 times damage on top of the 5 times damage. So 25 times damage now. But any explosives will, again, end my entire career. Any enemy trying... Oh, that's not a bad one with the chainsaws, is it? For the shotguns. But yeah, we'll get the HP. We need, a, we need an extra life now. The real problem is going to come from... There's going to be a lot of action on screen. We definitely want the chainsaws. I mean, this is just sexy. So this... I planned out, because again, I restarted the game to find the first glass cannon, but I had no idea the second glass cannon was here, so this is very serendipitous. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of GTA, you know, Grand Theft Auto V RP, which is an... It's a mod by... I think someone called... I haven't done too much research, but um, a mod by someone called no pixel or something again if any clarification in the comments would really appreciate it i could go researching but i'm just enjoying watching the content uh, XQ, xqc and a load of other content creators are essentially role playing in gta 5 there's various people like bank robbers even cops burger people you know <laughs> um okay it's just amazing go check it out seriously if you want some good content i'm enjoying the shit out of it it's a very diverse in the kind of, you know, personalities and content. I love it. I would love to do it myself, you know. But I'm not sure. My if my computer could run GTA 5 reasonably, I'd really consider it. Because I love the entire idea behind the whole character thing, you know. So, we definitely want teleport. This wand would be awesome. It really would. I think we just take... Nah, what we do is... Let's go... Boop, 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 boop. Take everything. Probably leave. All right. What I need to do, because we need to take this super seriously. You know, the most serious. We've got double glass cannon. We can't use any explosives anymore until I get explosion immunity. So, pollen? Yeah, and even a firebolt with trigger could kill me. Um, pollen has an explosive radius to it, so... I'll put that in the old pocket. Fire trail. I don't have that much HP. Um, however, that's not necessarily a bad thing when you're talking about fire. Right. We're good. Because I'm going to use... I'm going to see what I can do with the old chainsaws. To make a wrap here. Luckily, the shotguns can never hurt me. Um, unless I put piercing on. This is double glass cannon, by the way. Any shot on the enemy will kill them. I don't think... I need I'm pretty sure it's actually firing faster now. Um, 368 damage or something like that with. It's not even close to running out of a mana. Maybe I could put the other chainsaw on. It's probably for the best since this has 0.6. And any doubles can just be slapped on haphazardly. Because I need a lot of shot out there doing its job. However, 
The real problem is chainsaws. Right, you see my on my person, on me, there is an explosive force making a lot of noise. That's the chainsaws. If I just have chainsaws, that is the level of distraction I have to have, really, if I'm using chainsaws on my person. I would much prefer... This isn't. This wouldn't be the case otherwise. I'd much prefer uh, re reduced recharge magic. Um, but for this, in fact, I don't particularly... What I need to do, I probably need to limit the amount of chainsaws I'm using. Just so I can, you know, see and also have accuracy. Um, could mix it up and do two shots at once, because these... I guess, can't afford it. Shit. Because, again, this is going to... Alright, for one, we get rid of this lava. And we get some water, because... Uh, this is the one and only run. Again, I don't want to sit there again trying to hunt out a glass cannon. I'm getting double glass cannon lucky, you know? It was far too convenient. However, I'm going to make the most out of it. Show you what you need to do, hopefully. Not a nightmare run. Although this is going to be a little bit out of, you know... Not context, but... And this isn't going to be every nightmare run. You can hunt out an early glass cannon just by restarting. I'd say that's legitimate, you know? It's just finding a new seed. You have to pay the penalty of waiting there for 5-10 seconds every time you want to reload to find those three perks you want at the start. But we can dig as well very easily. Teleport very easily. Good thing about the teleport. It's only very minorly distracting. We want to save teleports just so we can ditch the one diff. Oh, no, we have it. It's fine. Right, I need to actually so Oh. That- this wand has such good accuracy. That I might just throw everything onto here. But I can't wrap it. But that accuracy, even at that rate of fire, might just be what we're looking for. Look at that for accuracy, though. I need homing. You know what I mean? However, I'm fire. That gives me more spread, which I kind of want. I think we just... Oof, Jesus. I need fire. I need all the things. Again, this is going to be... We've got edit. I don't mind collapsing this, to be honest. Right, because again, one shot can end it all. If I fire down there... Well, a lot of the snow goes, to be honest. But it will push enemies back for when I breach. A lot of mess, but that's us. Oh, people over there. And the centuries and everything. But I'm I'm essentially destroying the terrain I'm trying to stand on. So I need to limit my shooting until I can get onto harder ground. There we go. But I'm losing a lot of money now, you know what I mean? Because well, it's just not stable. Oh shit. Oh, I've got teleport, so I really need to, you know, realize. Probably killed him, you know? Okay. Let's get back up. That is kind of insane. So anyone trying to come up here now? Will reckon. I'm not sure if I ran too much though, because the enemies could have. If I go too far from the enemies, they can stop moving essentially. They unload themselves from the actual what you see on screen. There's a, like what you see on screen isn't the only thing that's loaded into to the game. And there's a big kind of square around you, or a certain amount of cells that get loaded in. If you're aware of roguelike game and cells. This kind of runs off the Spelunky method of cells. If you want to look that up. Uh, it's got a weird, really weird name. I really want to get onto solid ground here. Even if it means... Destroying a few people. Because those big boys, you know, the big he -see? Now Those guys. Terrible. Their shots will utterly destroy me. At 44 HP. Even the small bloopers probably would, uh, thinking about it. 
But I need to move in such a way that would limit their shots actually impacting me. Ooh. Uh, that was 7.5 damage from a rifle PC, you know? It's pretty insane. Now again, I need to kind of hover weirdly. Oh, tentacles. I think that was a freezing... Yeah, I think this is, a, is the stand for a freezing potion that I must have shot off. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, teleporting around at the moment. Saving my ass. Very lucky I got that teleport. But I think... Again, I'm killing one shot. Oh, oh, no. No. Oof. Because, again, those blooper shots, they're going to end my entire lineage. But hooray for double glass cannon, because I wouldn't have made it this far this fast, you know. But any metal is very valuable at the moment. I need to hear the blooper shots as soon as they get hurt and hurt a uh, shot and react to them. Because they're the things that are going to kill me. And get away from terrain if I can to shoot so I can land back where I was. I was about to say, how did that not already die? Do you know how much firepower I'm shooting at the moment? Oh, there we are. Should I go for these ones? Yeah, we do. We just decimate the entire area. We're going to fire that way a few times as well, just so anyone trying to ambush me. Yeah, ones can come in clumps here. It's really weird. Can't... Oh, look at that one, though. Oh, recharge. Don't really want. Hello. Nah, that's a final one, isn't it? And I think. No, we don't pick up mushrooms, but we pick this one back up at. Oh, that's short range homing, though, isn't it? And at 1.15, with a recharge and two shotguns, it might be too short-range homing, though. The problem is I'm not going to be able to easily buy any homing. And this one, even though it's a shuffle, the amount of mana it has on, I need accuracy as well, or to be able to fire super fast to compensate for blinding myself. This is a tricky one, because these orbs, they push back the enemy superbly, or push them towards me. Um, but I'm willing to, you know. That's a really tr tricky one between these two. Well, let's get out of it. Get our extra 10 HP. Saving grace or extra life, please. Shouldn't have taken that yet. Even though if I do find another glass cannon. Hmm. This won't do anything, unfortunately. Could get faster once. Or I could reroll. We don't have enough for a reroll. Or do we save up for. Sure, I saw a home and freezing as well. Nice. There was an avoiding arc, which could be pretty shit. Hot shit. It could be pretty shit. It could. Right, we're definitely changing this one. Hold on. Ah, right, I get you. We're already knee-deep in some good ammo count. Anyway. The short-range homing mean when the projectile is near the enemy or when I'm near the enemy?
It is running out of mana, but sometimes it's, it's got really good spread on it. Just the right amount of spread for each individual shot. It's firing just enough though. I feel pretty confident. I don't know. Again, it's a really tricky one. Because it needs to be one of these two ones just to handle the constant firing. Could just go with what I had before. Actually, I don't need the doubles. I don't know if it's impacting the wand at all. Probably not. Yeah, that seems good. I don't mind that. That's a consistent rate of fire. I'm probably going to re-roll this. Could go with faster ones, but... Hmm. With a 530 mana recharge and the 100 max mana, you know, the entire wand is costing me about 60 per shot. And it's recharging fast enough that, you know... It's only using about half the mana, and then it's pretty much reloading the wand before I fired the other shot. So I could go faster, and that might help. But we're looking for explosion immunity. Faster speed. Oh, faster projectiles, though. Because um, the faster I can get my shot to the enemy. I wonder if we could get away with this. We can't. Um, ooh. Oh, I can if I do that. Oh, right. It is when it gets close to the enemy. I've got to keep this. I've got to, I've got to fire slower because I need some homing. It will do a he It'll make the one so much better DPS-wise. Do I move faster or my projectiles move faster in this case? If I can short-range home, faster projectiles. Because ah, you know I love my faster movement. You know I love being a little flexible. I think I've got to go with faster projectiles there, you know? And that's going to save my life. That could essentially, instead of two shots being on screen coming at me, it could be one, you know? And I'll compensate myself. I'll move slower, you know what I mean? Just, hello. Individual enemies there. I uh, got some... Dude has increased pushback or something. Uh, so... There you go. That's actually wonderful. It proves we can we can shoot around corners. If I put a double on here, I mean, it's not going to hurt. Dude has extra crit shots. What the fuck? Hey, money as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah, taking down a toaster. Alright, big explosion down there already. That's what you get with double glass cannon, you know? Alright then, um, casual vaping opportunity because I can't lose any HP. Again, blooper shots. A single blooper shot will do. A shot. A shot will do about 40 50 damage at least. And that's from a small dude. And remember, I've got no capacity to. I can heal if I shoot a wand that's not modified. Right, I need to actually sort out which one's my teleport one. Probably have a faster firing and teleport. Don't mind shooting doubles. And the reload's pretty quick anyway, so we are fine in that. That sounds like metal I shot, yes. Oh, I tell you what, he see base at the start here right now in a nightmare run is horrible. You get so many HC just coming down. And I am opening up the HC base as well. So think about think about it like that. The more I shoot, the more enemies that will come at me. Most likely if they're not dead. Um, because of the uh, snow and ice being destroyed. Don't mind. I don't mind riflemen. You know, 7.5 damage. That's a lot, but... So I have like one or two, it might even just be one, like one nightmare run win, could be two, but I can't fully remember. I might just take this wand um, and drop the triggers.
Although if any enemy picks that up, they might be able to trigger me. Yeah, nice shot on the explosive through that. So using metal to surround myself would be very nice. Enemies can't shoot through metal. Yeah, cowards need to go immediately. But you see the level of firepower? Oh, medic, I'm sorry. The level of firepower we're working with is too good. Any ones? Or, oh, medic. Um, yeah, I need to basically see where all the metal is. Shoot everybody who could come from any direction or sh possibly get a line of sight on me. Um, and the real problem is long range sentries. Um, bubbles? It's a shitty, shitty one. Fuck me. That scared the living shit out of me. Oof. Um, yeah, propane, everybody. Was that propane? I felt like propane. Hmm. Let's see if we can get lucky with another glass cannon. Oh, we can. Let's keep on going, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, revenge explosion. You gain 25% resistance against the explosions. Um, oh, thanks, game. Thanks. That, that was... Excessive, do you not think, on the game's part? I can't take any of these, really. I can't shoot them. Um... Did anybody see that, by the way? Attracting gold. Revenge explosion. I release a magical explosion? Okay, so if I've got glass cannon, will that just explode the entire world? Um, hey, that explosion won't hurt me, but I could do exactly the same thing I did last time, right? I could um, be near an explosive. I get hit. I explode the explosive, I have 25% resistance, but that's barely anything, really. So, glass... Whoa! What you doing? So, yeah, even with glass cannon, these shots, terrible. Plus, I don't have anything to dig for money, unlike last time. We got very lucky, because the amount of times I had to reset for glass cannon in the first place... Hey, light buses, you know. You wait an hour for one, and then you know, two show up at once. I'm not gonna complain too much of that. If I get set on fire, I'm a little fucked, so I'm a little wary. Hmm. Probably be worth. I could try and explode the entire world, but there's no real metal around. Um, could I really watch out for what ones I'm using as well. Yeah, this is a lot better because I won't be shooting all the time. Oh, a 19 mana recharge is probably good enough for these to refresh them. But again, luckily we got gold attractor for at least the enemy money. Nope, it's gone. Oh, no, it hasn't. Come on, where's our, there's a want. Yeah, we got a lot of water around. But even simple rockets, an explosive will be a little bit too much, most likely. Oh, we're full of water. We can go down in for a second, you know. As long as we're quick about it and grab the wand. Wands? Ooh, acid ball. Oh, laser, light lasers on a great little wand. We'll get rid of the original light because these concentrated lights. All right. Have I messed up my audio? Sounds like it. Oh, I've, something happened. This happens. I don't know whether it's because I'm using an interface, but it does happen all the time. Where the order kind of glitches out a little bit because it might have been the last run kind of settling it in, but there is a fix for it. I just need to go quiet for five seconds. I'll be right back.
Oh, really? You glitching out my entire sister? Fuck you, game. Don't fuck up the... Oh. Yeah, screw up. Could be. A quick mod restart. This is actually a good way of showing you, you know, if you ever have any problems in the game, come here into the, you know, mods bit. Restart with enabled mods active. So, you know, if you do have sound problems or anything like that, come, yes. So I, I don't mind that happening so I can show you, you know. Yeah, we've got something where we can get money now. Yes. A little bit dangerous, a little bit fiery. I think it's uh, making the fire bigger. I don't think it's making, I don't think this does explosive damage. So I don't think we're in trouble there. There's fire everywhere. So I don't mind doing that, you know. It's not convenient, it's not convenient, you know. <laughs> it's not what I'd like, but yeah, let's be real, you know. Since I do these kind of live, you know, I don't edit the videos because, you know, we're streaming as well. I want it to be like the streaming experience minus the chat. And also let me know because with my Twitch contract, I'm a Twitch partner, so I have to, you know, really stick to that contract. As an affiliate, you still have a contract. Um, but as an actual Twitch partner, you know, we get a contract and you have to pretty much stick to it. However, in the contract, it pretty much... In the wording, kind of says I can stream at other service providers. Meaning, you know, sometimes you might not be allowed to stream at certain places. However, the only restriction I am under, I am not, for the Twitch stream that I stream on Twitch, I am not allowed to restream or put up anywhere else for 24 hours. Orbs! Wonderful. Might get rid of these assets. But I can... Stream, as long as I don't stream that particular thing to Twitch first, or at the same time. So I could technically... Well, it's not technically, I just could... Jesus Christ, mate! Right, I'm not going to go for all the money, I'm just going to... I'm going to get down, is what I'm going to do. There we are. That's me down, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave. That was a big hit. Can we get lucky twice in a row? I wonder. We've got no potion. Black holes and shotguns. That's probably gonna be a reroll. This is all kind of trash. Exploding gold? Is that? Because it's... Hmm. I'm wondering if that's actually me capable of uh, when I explode the gold or is it a passive explosion? Because if I'm responsible for the explosion, glass cannon will apply. If it's just the kind of if, if the explosion is classed as outside of my control it won't have glass cannon. So we can get this. Because I can't deny shotguns. They're too good. Oh, we got to get Saving Grace. I would take the extra perk. But saving Grace, baby. Unfortunately, I mean, the black holes would be awesome, and I can come back here possibly, but... Yeah, we've got some really good kind of utility in three different weapons, you know? Ground destruction, long distance on fire, distraction... You know, very quick shots as well, or just regular. I'm gonna all shotguns to, you know. Uh, it's only three capacity, but we could get away with it. This has zero cast delay though, which is a little bit weird. Could do both. We'll be fine. If we do want terrain destruction. Sorry, black holes. Maybe next time. So 
but sketchy as always. Coming down into this area. But with a single glass cannon this time, so I can see more, but we have less damage, but until later, that's not going to be the problem. Ooh. Green? Oh, I wish that was actually good. It looks good. Now, I don't have teleport this time, so... Enemies will and can come from different directions. I was about to say, can I get their money, please? That'll be really important to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Even with five times damage, the... Sentries still take a beating. I've got no water, but there is water around here, obviously. Being, you know... I see it, that's coming out. I've got to concentrate on other things. So I would advise... I would, I would suggest, you know, let's do some nightmare runs. For one, it does make you a better player for the regular runs you do. Oh no, safety snowman! We destroyed him. It's getting... Like the medics now, you know? Medics, uh, you know, surprise you. And thus you kill the medics and uh, safety snowman comes along. Oh, he's surprised. I've got to protect myself at all costs, you know? I can't be letting anybody live, really. It's not what we do in that mode. Everything must die. Good. Luckily... The dude exploded just as I was about to land near it, so... Because that would have been quite bad. But every angle is potential death, you know? Awesome, in a way. Yeah, I don't mind dropping that wand, even though it's good and stable. The great thing is that with glass cannon, you do have the ability to destroy or at least highly injure different directions. You can pacify like the left or the right or up or down or diagonal, you know? It might not 100 it's not it's not 100% foolproof, but it's an option to just fire out before you see the enemy, try and get a few injuries along the way. I'm guessing a sniper shot would kill me. That would be good money. Anybody down here? Oh, is that a wand? It is. I, this is what I'm looking for, you know. The wands are... With edit wands everywhere, of course, wands are key. I like that shot. Ah, oh, accelerative homing. Gonna snatch pollen, grab this one, and run away. Again, if we can get 10 HP per floor, it doesn't really matter too much. 10 HP here and that. I mean, if you get exploded, you know. I've actually wanted with glass cannon to try out glittering field, see what it's like. Okay, that's a lovely one that we can buy. <gasps> oh yes, because I might actually go for slots on my wands if I can figure out a wand that is just good enough. Kind of like this. Look at this no shuffle. Yeah, we go for that. More slots on that. It'll give all my one slots, but. And if we can go for freezing shotguns that fire really fast. Mainly because we've got drills and a lot of doubles now. You do get a lot to play with. However, as you've seen, if you are going the glass cannon route, you're very fragile and, you know likely most likely not gonna make it it's just the reality of the situation 
Always gotta be realistic, because I really want accelerative homing when the shotguns. If it will let me. I'm not entirely sure. I'd need it to be one shotgun. And I'd need to... I'd need it to fire relatively slow. But the accelerative homing takes a little while, you know what I mean? For it to get up and running. That might work. Well, I'll tell you what, though. The... The shots on the bottom are homing, and the shots on the top aren't. So you can see the kind of 50-50 nature of it, though. Oh, that, no, maybe I stop it wrapping. And then all of it, yes, it never runs out. That's awesome. We've got it exactly the way we wanted it. We can also dig with a plasma cutter if we want. Real problem? Oh, I can freeze. All right, what? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's running out of mana for... Yeah. And that's a bit too slow, if you ask me. No freezing, then. Because with accelerative homing, all three shots are hitting at the same. 69 damage. All three shots, and I can rack up DPS quite quickly and push them back. Not bad. Still no potion. More slots, though. Ah! Ooh, I wonder if I could take the reduced recharge time off, bring the freezing back, and actually fire at a more reasonable rate. Hmm. Oh, yes. I mean, technically, it's not amazing. That kind of is, for the very first shot, it has... You know... Nah, needs to be like that. And then we've got the accelerative homing on it. I think we actually try and kill this thing. Relieve it of all its HP. And, uh, ah, we can just kick it, you know, if we don't want it homing near it. Because there's always enemies camping here. It's pain in the ass. Yeah, let's collapse it. Again, we don't need much shit. But yeah, in the Heesey base, there's always people sniffing around. I need them to come up here. Patience. Oh, push them back. Because shooting two of these at once, again, the explosion radius is pretty legit to clear out the area and push everybody back, destroy explosives around the area. Is this nice for me to slot my head in here? But you see that, you know, just it makes sure explosives are destroyed. This is wonderful. <laughs> Alright, was that a snipe? Yeah, if I need long distance myself. We got it. I thought that was a shot then. Alright. Potion. Ooh. This is nightmare mode though. Ah, shit. Yeah, we hooked ourselves up there though. Because even any, well, any sort of teleport. That's still going to play well if we want to escape. Stay off the metal work. Give me the goal. I don't think there will be a... Uh... Ah, that's the problem, though. You know, I need to make sure I'm closest to the enemy I'm shooting at, but which isn't always possible considering... PC base is very short and compact, and there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah, let's not explode ourselves. Ah! But saving grace, 
will save our ass. No doubt. There you go. I don't want that blocking my shots, thank you very much. There, yeah, double kill. Yeah, we're not doing too bad setting up the very start of this. Actually, maybe maybe this is better for easy base. Okay. I got one of those rockets would probably kill me. There is a sentry right the way over there that I probably need to take care of. I don't know how I'm going to take care of it, though. Ah, there we go. That'll allow me to do it. Good shit. Pacify the area. The accelerative homing will tell me where the enemies are as well. Oh, again. Although I was pretty much always safe from that. Um, no, I probably only need the shotguns for this. Right, then let's go to work. I'm gonna, every time I wanna destroy terrain, I'm gonna do it at distance with this to prevent what happened last time. Yeah, when you start getting to the jungle, by the way, that's when enemies start having ridiculous amounts of HP. It's incredible how much they end up, like, how much bullet sponge um, effect kicks in. Yeah, the pushback on these is just pretty funny, actually. They can't do jack shit against it. Toaster. So I've got a. So I've got a choice. And drop the teleport, pick up war, which is probably you know the obvious and lovely choice. Or I start to burn eventually. Ah yes, follow my own rules, you know. Stay. Ah, oh, nice work. This is, I love boxes like this. You know, you can see enemies coming from most directions. Medic! Medic! Poor medic. Ooh, regular arrows on a five capacity wand. Probably replace my orb wand with it. Lava to blood as well could help. I don't know, probably later on, maybe. I could probably run it with lava to blood for no reason. Probably wouldn't run out of mana. Oh, fuck off. Right, that, that's it, man. There you go. But then there's... Ah, oh, the gold attractor. Saving my ass here. Right, there's obviously just metal down there, so it's safe all the way down. But yeah, if I see a squadron of Hisi... Pushing them all back like that and giving me more time. I'm sorry, medic. It's the only way it could have gone down. Slapped a few times there, though. Yeah, we have a few times where we can just get slapped about, you know? I'll tell you what, the toasters firing? Again, they shoot multiple different shots at the same time. That's not cool. He's got a wand. Ah, Rose would have dominated me, by the way. There's no way I can get through. Oh, I do have the plasma cutter, though. Ooh. But if I start messing around with plasma cutters... Oh, thank you for exploding that, because that's the way I'm going, and any explosive that gets destroyed before I even get that. Can I fuck her? I was about to say, can I shoot fire away? You know? Doesn't look like I can. It's creating a lot of wind. I don't see why I couldn't. But I'll, at the moment, satisfy myself. Nah, that's a lot of metal around there. That's fine. Oh, he's got a wand. Um, nice. He looks fucked. The wand is in my possession. Oh, look at me drills. Are we encased? We are. 
no one can see me easily. Plus Lumi drills getting stolen. But I've got no water to get rid of this toxic, but that might be fine. Oh, that wasn't nearly fine. Sniper as well, that's an opportunity to vape. Could go this way, or I could force myself up that way, but hey, it's better just to go down, right? You know? Don't oh no, we got a toaster down that. That's gonna Again with the Orb explosion. They'll be yeah, they'll be taken out. I can get a direct shot on them. Doesn't even kill them. Yeah, we're taking down dude after dude after dude, so. It's very nice. That's a coward up there, but the explosion should have taken him out there. Hopefully. You'd hope so, right? Medic! Oh! Again, metal will come to my rescue. Hey, if I bounce off the shield, the orb, and get it around a corner, we've got to be near... Got to be near the end now. Although there's another wand. Yeah, if I had to, that. Oh, he jumped into it, very nice. We're taking care of business just about. Oh, we are. Ah, there's people above me. Don't want that. Yeah, I need to get to a position where metal is prominent. Yeah, at this point, one single bloop from a short, a small... I'm saying that even the toasters would wreck me. If they open up, I need to escape. Yeah, if I want... If I'm running in the other direction, just shoot that way like twice or a few times. I want to keep doing it, you know, if they do come near me. Get ready for the pushback. I want that wand over there. Oh, he's still alive? Yeah, double shooting the orbs has turned out to be fantastic. Um, I do have quite a bit of blood to traverse across it. Plus, there's no explosives around here, it seems. Try and get this... Nah. Hold on, I, I shot someone through metal then? There was a mechanical on the other end. Which, oh, right, I can go through that. Nice. Oh, nice. Again, any explosives are wonderful. I really want that bread and that money. We don't need it. Once again, we got saving grace as well, so actually a blooper wouldn't kill me. It, again, it doesn't matter. Me being at 35 HP or 28, you know, it means I can take one less rifle shot and I can take about four anyway. So it's like three now. Well, maybe two. Ah. I want that wand. I really want it. But there's not much I can do. Okay, oh, might be able to go under. Or hopefully, oh no, a sentry could dip down. I can take one more shot from a rifle, dude. Ah oh, shit! Ah, oh, I didn't really want to do that. Oh come on! Yes, rub off. Oh shit! There's a mechanical one. Luckily, I got teleported back to where I was. Which is fine with me. Although, I've got one more rifle shot and then saving grace kicks in. But now I've got no potion again. Yeah, drop down quick. Um... Could get away with this. That's actually pretty damn close. 
Yeah, drop down. Ah, yes. And baited it. I really want this wand. It's really good. Let's get rid of the lasers. Although, if anyone picks that laser up, I'm screwed. Good shit. Send, let them know. Send them a message. Right, metal. Fair enough. <gasps> with a... Oh, with a... Right, yes. Saved. Look at all those bubbles. Um, I'm not going to get the HP yet. Even though I could die for it. Gamble? Ooh. I could re-roll, look. You know? I could re-roll and get something really cool. Gamble. Oh, we have a... Uh... Oh, shit. I got something else. What? What? What if I got twice? I've got double glass cannon again. Yep, I've gone that, but I've got double glass cannon again. Ah, that's terrible. But I did also pick up fungal disease. When near danger, you sprout fungal growths. So we've got to make sure we're never near danger. Um, I'll tell you one that's awesome. But we go back to 60 HP, so we're in the position we were last time. But this now, with the orbs, that pushback has got even bigger. Now, we're going down to the jungle. Which is nearly entirely, you know, soft material. Up it's lapper. I need to take explosives off. Oh, what was that wand that we enjoyed? Oh, it's only five capacity. Oh, man, imagine if it did. Oh, could I? 30, that's 150. I could do it. I could do an upwards LARPA energy orb. Oh, dearie me. Oh, it's upwards though, right? But all that pushback explosion. It's an, right, it's an emergency shoots, isn't it, you know? The terrain destruction. There's no way I can elongate my luminous drill safely. Or dangerously, to be honest. Yeah, that was a bad reroll. Because mana will set me on fire. Or at least it'll, uh, you know, possibly put me in a situation where I can't recover. Since I've got no potion. But I can just do that. Clear out the starting area. Make them essentially keep on putting pushback damage all the way down this tunnel. And then the final one explodes anyway at, when it gets all the way down to the bottom. Even though... Hold on, I've got an idea. Make it... Yeah, hit the wall there. Shoot it on the inside of the wall. I think we're done. Uh, for ah, do this side. To be fair, I should not be doing that. I need to find solid ground. Hmm... But again, in the jungle, I can't particularly fire this safely. I can't even fire this and have terrain. What we could do, we could just fire our ball or chainsaws continuously. But again, the Heesi here are long-range specialists. They're not snipers, but they're damn close. We also have the problem where this is a double biome. I got hit once. And that's good. We survived. Hey. Shoot out that way. And this is killing successfully, but. Nah. Yeah, they're getting paid as well. If we can find better ones as we progress as well, I mean, that is better. That is really good. Uh, let's get rid of this one. It's got an orb on it, and if that gets shot at me, well, it gets shot at me, I suppose. 
We could try and shift. That's a really good one as well. But it's not the kind of one we need. We're really specializing in charge speed being higher than the max. Not that I couldn't make it work, but priority at the moment, just get down, I suppose. I got wrecked there. Okay, was that mine? I'm not even sure that was my shot. I, did that. I, I don't shoot anything white. Explosively. Unless there was a potion there that got in the mix. Now nah, we're in the vault. Nah, this is terrible. I'm blocked in. Hopefully this takes out the majority of the people. Oh, we've got metal below us. Which is fantastic. I can get shot from top. We do have saving grace still, don't forget. Get him while he's on fire. Luckily one shot is enough here. But yeah, these dudes, those little uh, wasps, hornets I suppose, um, flying to me. Not good people. Neither are these dudes, to be honest. I'll tell you what, the chainsaw is doing enough to destroy terrain. I don't really need the upwards larper. Although, right, if I'm on metal, doing this is epic. You know, the amount of force, it'll push the enemy back. Alright, Jesus. Freezing as well, still on my side with the shotguns. Get away from me. I think it was... It could have been... With, instead of the Hornet attacking me, what it could have been... was my fungal disease acting up again. Healing. We don't have teleport to exploit it. It's not a great one. It's good, again, like most things seem to be. That's an upwards larper moment, to be honest. Disturbed them a lot. There's so much shifty going on here. I can't see or tell them. I've got no water for the fire. Ah, shit. Alright. Big boy. Right, LARPA time. Right, I'm being surrounded. LARPA. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. What the hell is that? Am I shooting my third wand? No. That's not propane canister or anything like that. Lap up. Push anyone else back to give me more time to land, get, you know. Anything. This isn't a bad place to shoot the LARP up. You know, shoot a few up, get into this hole here, surrounded by the metal. The last one just pushes anyone back in there to give me a bit of time. Shooting down here as well. Getting down multiple holes at the same time. It blinds me, so I have to still be careful. Blinds me a little bit. Polly? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Is he dead? He hasn't even been shot. We go down. Oh, Jesus. We have to go down. Whopper! Save the day! Oh, one HP. We're on saving grace. Right, we killed it. Ah, too much fire. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Give me my levitation. I have I have liquid. I've just got to go. Just got to go. I'm going to use my LARPA explosive. Come on. I'm going to shoot it in here. Had to do it. Sorry, guys. Shoot it multiple times. Hopefully it doesn't create a fire. I don't see why it would, to be honest, but there's no fire on top of here. Although, there could be. <laughs> Luckily, I'm going to get some melted. Any liquid? Oh, nice. Thank you very much. Can we get down to the bottom, please? Ah, shit, these guys. Although, look at them, they're just dying. 
into the... Right, he's dead. Oh, and I'm fucked. Stomach's gonna kill me here. Possibly? Oh, herds, yeah. Sentries. A swapper. Will that gas kill me? I think that's just that. I think that's fine. Um, if I get some slime on me, I know it slows me down, but it's better than getting set on fire at the moment. At the moment, it's better than getting set on fire nearly all the time. Oh, oh we're there. Oh, oh, Jesus. We made it. Oh, how did we make that? Double, double glass cannon run. One failed miserably. We've got enough. Oh, having faster shots again. More accurate shots. Even though the accuracy is fine anyway, because, you know, accelerating home and just concentrating them all. But we need, like, an extra life or something. Yeah. Bounce. Revenge? No. Bouncing spells for the shotguns. Okay. Bouncing shotguns would be epic because it would stop me missing as much. And they last longer, you know? If I accidentally hit the wall, which happens all the fucking time. Plus my bouncing... Oh, hold on. Oh, that just keeps on... It goes for a lot longer now. I've just improved my lap, baby. I'm surprised I didn't get sprayed with toxic... Oh, fuck off. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm toxed, which is really annoying in this situation. There's no fucking water there? Ah, oh, there is. Hold on, it's... Oh, it broke on through somehow. You down. How the fuck... We didn't lose... We lost 12 HP, which in the grand scheme of things is fine. Ah, oh, crystal broke. Okay. This is a bit of a problematic place, though, because it's not only the art I have to get through here. It just keeps on going. I'm gonna fire it. La la la. Because this, right, it, just in case you don't know, I'm not going to say what is going to happen, but I do know it's not just the art we have to do. And it's scary. It's too scary. Yeah, shoot up Wizzy's dead. Luckily, we do have this kind of tech, you know? Otherwise, I wouldn't have got through the one HP situation, to be honest. Still no potion. But I wonder if we could just get away with this. The LARPA keeping on shooting now. I've seen money, so it's definitely working, at least a little bit. Now, if it killed the ghosts, it did. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot those. If I am, again, if I am near danger, I fire out little specks of... Well, little specks. Nah, shit. Oh, that actually works quite well. Oh, because the shotguns are bouncing. At this moment in time, actually having shotguns bounce is probably for the best in shooting them out. Because they just last. Get out of the way, mate. Shaman, I'm sorry, it's not your time. Ah, oh, this dude, though. I could try and rush him. But the cursed rock. No, I can't shoot it out of the way. Although, now I've probably opened up something where enemies can get through a bit more. I've got to rush it. I've got to hope there's no one really down it. Ah! Got him. There's an earthquake, but I can get rid of all the little bits like that. I can't see a damn thing. Yeah, just shoot in here, get rid of the wall mounting, just in case I need to run that way. That's what the pushback's doing for you as well, you know, deleting enemies off the side. 
getting rid of little inconveniences to make sure you don't get cheese grated as much. However, you need to be very spatially aware in the in the first place to, you know, know when and where to shoot. You could just shoot haphazardly, but to be honest, it's not going to. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got to it. Which means we're looking good. The amount of swap. No, we got swapped. Shoot out. Oh. Just. Oh, we're there. Oh. <gasps> Steve. Luckily, we can freeze him. It's not Scott. Get the HP. Even, like, an extra 22 HP here. Beautiful. Ow. Well, whatever happened. Slime blood. Okay. Higher projectile resistance. Low recoil. No, we reroll. Slower projectiles. I don't mind because I've got homing. Accelerating homing. Eventually, most shots will go faster. Oh, double, double glass cannon win. Two double glass cannons in a row. One failed. This dude doesn't have a reflective um, shot as well. You know what I mean? We could freeze kick him. Um, that push, we don't well, need to. So he probably saved the... You know. Nah, we're, just gone. we're fine. So I think this is like a second glass cannon. Victory if we do it. And with 25 times damage, I think. Something like that, maybe. And of course, the thing that's been... being the M This has been the MVP, this. And I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration of its power. Because how many times would you think Upwards LARPA is going to save the day? Really? You know what I mean? Upwards LARPA saving the day. He's trying to get away from me. Might as well just shoot him, you know? Hey, beautiful, beautiful runs. I appreciate you taking the time to enjoy them with me. But again, don't forget. If you fancy, if you do enjoy the content, like and subscribe and them. You know, ring that bell. Also, we stream at twitch.tv forward slash let's up together. If you do enjoy the content, we've got more of it right there for you. You know? We're going to be bringing Hades to the roster as well. Some Gungeon, Noita, and Hades. I think that'll be a good combination of games. So, you know, continue forward with. Well, I really want to check out fucking Grand Theft Auto as well. See if it actually runs on my computer and move about. Possibly even think about moving forward with that. Maybe. Probably not. But, you know, it's worth a look into, right? It's so good. At least to watch. And, uh, well, turns out I'm in that business. But, right, take it easy, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. 40 minutes, 45 for a nightmare run. Beautiful. See you soon, guys. Have a good one. Take it easy.